Welcome to Shri Adasi classes. So today we will learn how we can order the decimal numbers in the descending order. So basically let us understand what is the meaning of descending order first of all. So descending order means going down. Going down means when you go from the biggest number to the smallest number. That is when you call it as descending order. So, um, let us now understand how we can arrange these decimal numbers in the descending order. So, the rule is very simple that we always start from the highest value column and we also know that the highest value column is always to the left hand side of the number. So, first of all, let us see if we can arrange them using the whole part. So, I am going to highlight the whole part here first of all. So this is 42, this is 41 here, this is 42 again and this is also 42. Okay, that means I won't be able to arrange them with the help of the whole part only. That means I will be needing the help of the decimal number also. But from the whole part I can clearly see that this is going to be my smallest number because it is the only one which is having 41 in the whole part, which is the smallest out of all. And all other numbers are having the same whole part, which is 42. And because we are arranging them in the descending order, that means we have to work out for the biggest number first of all. So, first of all, let's see this number. We always check the highest value column, but since 42 is not going to help us, so let us see which can which digit can help us here so in the tens column it is having six in the tens column it is having nine in the tens column it is having nine again okay now again i am sure that this is not going to be the bigger number here because i am having nine i'm having two nines here now that means i have to conclude from these two numbers now now this is also out of the list. This is also out of the list. I'm just left with these two choices and then from these two choices I have to choose my biggest number. Let's see who is going to win the race. So let's move on to the next column. In the next column I am having 6 in this number and in this number I am having a 3 and I clearly see that this 6 is bigger than this 3. That means this number has won the race. That means the biggest number here is 42.96. And I am also going to cross it off from here, from the list. So this is my biggest number. After that, I can clearly see that this was the second number because I was choosing from these two only. So this is going to be my second number, 42.935. I'm going to cross it off. Now, out of these two, I have to choose the bigger number. So I can see that this is the smallest one. That means this is going to be the, my next number, 42.658. And at the end, this is the smallest number, which is 41.82. I hope you liked the video. Thank you.